Hi there, welcome to another micro bit project video. In this one today, we're going to be creating some of these rather nice little uh, pumpkin lanterns um, using micro bit and some uh, LEDs. Now, we're going to use some NeoPixel LEDs so we can have a little color today, but this would work perfectly well with um, kind of just a normal white strip of LEDs here or something like a, a string of LEDs or I guess even just using the LED display on the front of the micro bit. But we'll do it with the NeoPixels today so we can see some of these interesting little effects like this. So um, what this one has built in now, so we can press the A button on the back of the micro bit here and it's going to change color. We've got sort of cycling of colors there. If we want to turn the flicker on and off, then button B is going to just set it to a solid color like this. And then if we press B again, then it's going to start the random flickering again um, just on here. So it's a straightforward enough little project here and, and it doesn't have to be built exactly this way. You could cut yours out of cardboard. You could uh, use slightly different components and other things with it. But we'll go through a the basics of just how this works today. So um, where I'll start with this then actually. So let's start with the micro bit. So again, I've got just a little basic bit breakout board on the back. This is just to make it easier to connect up the um, NeoPixel LEDs. You could obviously just wire these three wires to the pins on the bottom. The black one's going to go to ground. The yellow one's going to go to pin one in this case and the red one would go to the three volt power, but um, that's where these little breakout boards just make life easier that I can do exactly the same thing just by plugging it in um, just like that. So we've got the LEDs connected just here. So the first thing we're going to do is to uh, just look over the program for this and put it on here and see how, um, how this is going to work. So again over to the computer. Um, I've already got the program here, but we'll talk through uh, what we've got and how this works. So the first part of this um, is actually to add the NeoPixel um, extension here. So we have to go to Advanced Extensions and then Add NeoPixels here. Um, but once we've added that, we'll have these extra um, blocks in here that we can use. So the way that this project starts, I created a couple of variables one called lights and one called flicker. What lights controls is the actual color um, of the light strip, which we'll talk through in a minute. And flicker will just turn on or off the flickering. So the way that the lights one work, at the start of the program, lights is set to zero. And when button A is pressed, it changes lights by one. So it'll add one to the value of lights every time we press the A button. And depending on the value of lights, it's going to show some different colors. So when we press button A, it's going to add one on to there, and that's going to show us red. We press it again, then it's going to show us green, then orange. Um, and then here is where it does its rainbow colors. And I explain how and why that jumps on just here in a moment. And then if you go uh, to six or above, it actually sets it back to zero. So it just can cycle through the, the uh, colors. So just to explain then um, how we're doing the NeoPixels. So the first thing that you will need if you're using NeoPixels is to set the strip first. Um, so we get that straight at the top. That's like the first one. Um, so what we've got is which pin it's connected to. So for me, it's pin one and how many LEDs are on there. So these strips are 10 LEDs. Um, so we put 10 in there. Then very simply, we can just say that uh, for if we want it to be completely blank, then we just clear it and then show that. Um, it's important we have show in all of these because show is what actually displays it. You can change what the NeoPixel thinks it's doing, that it's all clear, but unless you choose to show that, it's not going to do it. Um, so zero should be cleared and then show that it's clear. Um, one shows, this, uh, this uh, block actually has show in it already, so this is good. So this shows the color red on it two will show the color green, three will show orange. Now for this one, to do rainbow effects on here, then we can just use this one here, which is uh, strip show rainbow. And this is a color range. So this is from like um, off basically up to all the way up to white and then sort of any color uh, hues in between. 
Um, now we can change it to this, but if we then use this rotate pixel, because this is the bit that makes it move and the, the light sort of rotate around, if you put that in the same one as here, it gets very confused because it keeps setting them back to the original rainbow pattern. So even though you've rotated them, it then sets them back to how they started again. So it really doesn't work to cycle the colors. So what we have to do is we only want this to happen once and then we want it to keep doing this. So what I've done is that when lights equals four, it does this bit, sets it, and then changes to lights to five. So we're now doing this one, so it doesn't keep resetting it back to the normal rainbow color. So now it will just keep rotating around just here. Um, and that's why that one's a little bit weird, the way it's set up. And then, uh, as I say, if you go over six, it'll then uh, reset it. So we can test this in the simulator. So we press A, it's gonna go red, then again, green, orange, rainbow pattern. So that's now actually worth five while it's rotating. Press it again, and it's gonna take us back. It resets it to zero and turns it off. Okay, so that's um, very straightforward. Now the flickering is just on button B, and this is very simple. So what happens is, so we've got a, a usual bit of code here for a toggle switch. So what this bit of code does, if we press B, it's gonna switch flicker to one. If we press it again, it's gonna uh, put flicker back to zero. So every time we press, it's gonna be one, zero, one, zero. Um, so it's like a toggle switch, an on and off with just one button. Um, then what happens is, so when it's on, it sets the brightness of the strip to zero, so that's completely off, uh, pauses somewhere between zero and 10 milliseconds and then sets the strip's brightness all the way back up to full brightness. Then it pauses somewhere between 50 and 200 milliseconds, so it stays on slightly longer, um, then it will go off, and then that loops around, so it keeps doing that. However, if flicker is zero, so it's off, then it's just gonna set them to full brightness. Now, you can't see the flicker very well on the simulator here. It doesn't show very well. You can see it a little bit. Um, oh, it's not too bad, actually. It is showing up a little bit here. Let's try a different color. Yeah, so you can see there that it's flickering um, on and off just there. If we press B, that flicker is going to stop. Um, so that's the program for this one. We're just gonna put that onto um, this micro bit so we can see it working. Okay, so let's just uh, download this project and download it straight to the micro bit. So that's now copying over. Okay, so let's just test that out. So if we press button A, then this will be red. Press it again, it'll be green. Again, it'll be orange. Rainbow pattern, and then off. And then while we're on there, if we press button B, it's gonna go into its flickering. And we can obviously change color and the flickering still on. Unless we press B to turn the flicker off. So that's awesome. So let's take it off USB now and put it onto a battery pack. So test that's all working on battery. Yep, looking good. Okay, so what we're gonna do next then is to build this into our little pumpkin. Now, um, as I say, you could cut this out of anything. You can make your own. I just laser cut um, from this design that I found online. Um, I'll put a link to the, um, to the file to, for laser cutting. It's, it's actually one I bought, so it was a, it was a few US dollars to buy. Um, the, the template, but actually it was, it was perfect for what we needed. Um, but I'll put the link to that down there, but obviously you can just cut your own um, out of any material you like. So um, what we're gonna do is put all this together now, and, uh, and yeah, I'll probably just uh, speed through this video a little bit um, while I'm just putting it all, all together.
Now these strips actually have a, an adhesive back, so you can just, um, with these ones at least, they can just be peeled off um, and then stuck down. And the aim really is to try and get the um, try and get it right round the edge without it being too obvious when you look through the um, the holes in the face. Okay, so there's the, um, the main part of this put together, I guess. So I've just run the wire out of a hole in the back here for the NeoPixels. And then it's just a case of placing the micro bit and the battery pack. For these other ones, I've actually stood it on the battery pack. That seemed to work quite well, um, just to place it underneath um, as an easy place to actually put it and obviously then work it as a stand. You can fit it in however you please. Now obviously to attach the micro bit itself, I would recommend you use some tape or something like that and not do as I'm doing again and glue the back of my micro bit, but I can do it very carefully, I guess. Okay, and there we are finished really. So we've got our micro bit mounted to the back here and we can press button A now to cycle through um, all of our different colors or patterns we've got in here. And then it cycles back to off. And then we've got button B to start our flicker just here, um, which works really great. So I think they look pretty good. Uh, let's have a green set here. I think they look pretty cool. Um, so. Just a nice simple idea really just with um, with NeoPixels, but as I say, you don't have to use NeoPixels. You could do this with um, just with normal LEDs if you wanted to as well. Um, and the program again, it'd be very similar. So I uh, uh, hope that's helpful uh, for any project that you might be doing that might involve uh, lights and patterns and, and, uh, and making them be able to flicker like this as well.